Yo, check out that back off. Jeez. I would bang that. Yeah, defo. Nah, too small. Bro, you could even handle that right there. <laughs> This life is killing me. I love him, but we have to break free from all this hiding. How do I know he will do that? He says when we finish school, but how do you know for sure? I'm sure it's not easy for him. It's a lot for him to risk. True. And there's his father. Who's his father? He's political, but I don't care. <laughs> Let me tell you what this is doing to me. It's messing with my head. Anxiety attacks. Most of the time when I see him, it's at my flat or some hotel in the middle of nowhere. And then it will be four or five days before I ever see or hear from him again. It's not right. How has your family reacted to your relationship? came out to my family when I was 14. It was a difficult first year, especially with my father. He distanced himself from me, but now there's an acceptance. He might not agree with what I'm doing, but I believe he respects me. Maybe if I force him out, give him an ultimatum, that could force his hand. You could get hurt, tread lightly. You two have a sensitive relationship. So I said to her, look, it's not sex if I just put a tip in. Half an inch is all. <laughs> it has to be more than an inch to be considered penetration. And I have another nine and a half to go. <laughs> What's your problem? I'm good. So I've been listening to you talk about this girl for the past two hours, but yeah, I'm still wondering, have you even lashed her yet? What the fuck? Have you even done it yet? Well... just did. You need to learn to keep that off tickling to yourself. You understand? I love it, man. Chris, no. How do you know his name? How does he know your name? You weren't just jesting at me back then, was you? It makes sense now. You two are batty in it. I knew there was something wrong with you. You bastard. Yo, shit! Look, what I can tell you is this. I am a proud father, 
my son was not born with the homosexual condition that has infected our youth. Somewhere along the way, I taught him right. And when he came of the age where one makes a decision to live a wholesome lifestyle and do God's will or to become a homosexual, I was fortunate enough that he made the right choice. That is all it is, a choice guided by loving parents and God's blessings. If we as parents, teachers, politicians, church leaders and peers show acceptance of these lifestyle choices, then we offer these choices to our children. And that is not only a violation of our community, but a crime against humanity. Uh, what is it? Is, is everything all right? Can we cut the cameras and the, the lights, please?